Good freaking morning. It's exactly 6.15. I'm already in my car. I've been up since 5. I couldn't sleep. It is 34 degrees outside. Can you guys see this? 6.16, 34 degrees outside. It doesn't get much colder than that here in southern Utah. Northern Utah, that's a different story. My windshield is nice and glazed over. But... It is time to go to the gym. I'm actually going to stop at Starbucks. It's my sister's birthday. My sister works the front desk at the gym. So we're going to bring her some coffee. And then I'm going to get in the zone. I'm going to do a little meditating in the morning. Make sure I get hydrated because I have leg day. I have to max back squat. And I'm not excited about it. But I'm trying to make the best out of it. As you can see, I haven't max back squatted in a while. So... It's gonna be a doozy today. Let's go. Front squat, we've worked up to 315 now. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna do a double here and then just go single, single, single until I can't do any more singles, okay? Good morning from Fitness Culture. You guys saw me hit three, what, what was that? 315 and 30, 345. I'm putting the brakes on there. Um, you guys saw me, I just failed. And it was my knee, shooting pain in my knee and my hip. So I actually have a physical therapist appointment today for that kind of stuff, my lower back to my hip. It's all jacked up, but pretty happy with the fact that 345 went up that easy. I felt like I could have done three. Um, had to shut it down though, 375 just, it got weird, it got weird on my back, got weird on my hips. So that is that. We're gonna move on in the rest of the workout today. And just the only place to go from here is up, making sure I do that mobility and I do my physical therapy. My goal for this is to hit, you know, I, I feel like I should be able to hit at least, at least 405 on this in 12 weeks. That's my goal. new equipment because we need some stuff out there. I made the mistake, I bought a bunch of equipment back in the day. This actually wasn't a bad buy from a gym that was going out of business, but a lot of the equipment is subpar. So now we're going through, we're buying all sorts of new equipment. It's fun, but pricey. We're here to check out this refrigerator and I found it on Craigslist. So I'm gonna try to make a deal. They're asking for 350, I'm gonna see if I can't get them down to $300 and use my negotiating skills. All right, here's the fridge. It's definitely in working condition. It's it's all right, man. And what was your name? Aaron. Aaron. Hey. Aaron. Thank you. Do you do you follow the YouTube? I do every day. My man. All right. I'm I'm digging it. I did I I, I did tell the people I was gonna say, would they take 300 for it? Of course, for Steve. <laughs> Perfect. Let's do it. Man, I just I absolutely love it when that happens. I absolutely love it when that happens. It's cool when you're, you know. <laughs> Search on Craigslist for a fridge and the person follows you. Now I kind of feel bad for asking for it for 300 rather than 350, but I told you guys I was gonna try to finagle down to 300. But it was, the fridge looked good, everything looked good. Now that I'm up here in this neighborhood, I kind of wanna go see if I can find maybe a potential lot. Let's go try to find a lot up here because I like the views. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Good views up here, looks pretty dope. I don't know if I can walk on this. How soft is this? Oh, I'm gonna get my shoes dirty. But, oh, these are all walkout basements. I do not wanna have to build a walkout basement. I'm not a walkout basement kind of guy. I think that you spend all of your time in your kitchen and living room area, and you need to have your pool right outside your kitchen. Like my mate, my, the thing I want is a kitchen that overlooks this amazing living room with the vaulted ceilings and a door that opens from, you know, you can go from the kitchen outside and also the living room right outside to a covered patio. 
outdoor kitchen and pool area. That's what I'll have. So these are a no-go because they're all walkout basements. I refuse. I do like that view though. Yesterday we went and saw the refrigerator, looked at some lots. Today I'm back into the gym. I usually come into the gym every day in the morning and then I leave for a couple hours in the middle of the day to run errands, do emails, eat, take a nap because if I'm gonna wake up at, at 5.30, I'm gonna definitely need a nap sometime in the day. And then I typically come back. So I'm back, <sighs> finally submitting this big order. We've gone back and forth. I don't know if I can, I'm gonna try to show you guys what we got coming. We got all this good stuff coming. So yeah, it's gonna be legit as hell here. This is gonna be enough to pack our entire gym, vertical leg press. We went over a little bit more yesterday about it. So we're submitting that. We just got some designs for some fitness culture, a fitness culture logo. There's just so many things that when it's, it's when it's your baby, when it's something that you have put your time into, you want everything to be perfect. That being said, I need to work out today. So the, the, we're gonna do core and hit cardio and that's actually gonna be um, the next Soul series, so the next episode tomorrow. Today we just gotta get this guy to deliver the fridge and I gotta get a meal prep company up in here. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna be good stuff. Just a lot going on. I have a hard time trying to compartmentalize everything. I'm a visual person, so we're just gonna get whiteboards for this entire room. We're getting the podcast set up. I just need to sometimes take a deep breath and remember Everything's gonna be all right, man. So, I did not finish yesterday's workout. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I went to the physical therapist after that little episode where I dropped the weight on the front squat, and the knee's just been a little bit off for a while, and yesterday made it a lot worse. So, looks like we have some meniscus issues. Um, he says, surgery is always last resort. So we're gonna try to strengthen other areas. It's probably also off my lower back, L4, L5. I, a little bit of bulging disc, or I had two bulging discs when we did the x-rays on them. Kind of messed up, and I've always had tight hips, so it's a tight hip, lower back, knee issue that just can come from doing mobility. So good thing is we have mobility in the program. We have worked that into the program, so I'm gonna finish up the legs and then also do mobility. Finishing off today's leg workout, giant set. We got three sets, eight to 12. That means failing in that eight to 12 rep range. Giant set, so we got Leg press, lying hamstring curl, leg extension, hat squat, hip abductor, and adductor. So what we're gonna be doing, each one, I'll do an exercise, 30 seconds, straight into the next exercise, straight into the next exercise. After I complete the full round, I rest for two minutes and then do it all over again. So we get three rounds of that. And then from there, we got a lower body mobility routine. So it's just what I'm needing. More mobility in my life. I'm actually not gonna go to failure on this one, just cause I am feeling that. Anytime I bend my knee, my knee too much, the meniscus starts. I really hope I don't have to get surgery, but it starts hurting there, so. So the groin plate slides are a good substitution. If you don't have a hip abductor, adductor, ADD. So groin plate slides and then our walking banded, that's a good for the abductor. So your abductors, adductors. Adductors, abductors. I always get confused on those. So think of it this way. An abductor is when your leg is going away from your midline. So anytime you're, you're seated, or you're walking, those are abductors. If you're bringing something in, like the groin plate slides, or that machine where you're here, that's adducting. You're adding it. Think of it that way.
That's pretty much it for our, our giant sets of legs. Hamstrings, quads, calves. I can't wait. With all that equipment I just ordered, we're about to be the best leg gym maybe that I've been into. Vertical leg press, V squat, we got hack squats. We'll keep this one. We're definitely getting rid of this crazy thing. So, if you guys are in the market for some gym equipment, we're gonna be getting rid of this leg press. We're gonna probably be getting rid of that squat rack over there, unless I can find a house and put it in my garage. It's always nice to have a squat rack, bench rack in your garage. Uh, we're gonna have two different, we're gonna have a standing calf raise. Uh, we'll have a donkey and we'll have a seated. This place, the legs in this place. This will be the place you want to come and grow your legs. You might have just leg growth camps. Speaking of camps, I think we're probably actually gonna do our first camp um, in February if all things work out. I got some traveling I gotta do for Gymshark. And of course, Australia, my line for Gymshark releases in Melbourne. I think we're gonna be doing it the same weekend as the Arnold in Australia. So if you're from Oz and you wanna to come to that, it's gonna be amazing in Melbourne in a cool warehouse spot. And the clothes are absolutely sick. So, anyhow, that's it for today. It's kind of a day in the life of a gym owner. We still gotta go pick up that fridge. Um, but you work out, you talk to people as they're coming in, you work out some more, you do a bunch of stuff online, marketing, just growth, business growth stuff. And you try to get it all in and still have time for friends and family and your dog who is at my sister's house right now. I'm gonna go pick her up after this. I'm coming, Poppy. Don't worry, daddy's coming. Thanks for guys, thank you for watching. We're on our way to a million.